Hello, Acron fans, and welcome to this FP vodcast between myself and Cron Aberrant on Act Natural. This is a bit of an older map on Volcano Tile set that I've updated fairly recently, but I haven't shown off in a while. So, see how this goes. Just going to wait a bit for Cron Aberrant to start up, and once that happens, we can get this game going. So, it's going to start up back here. It goes my normal, and Cron Aberrant is going for Grecum as he normally does, because he really enjoys Grecum. It's his favorite race. So yeah, Act Natural is one, an older map, but it's been updated fairly recently for the newer sort of Cold Forge economic style. As you can see, of course, there's two LC crates and one QP crate in main base. Same with the expansion, though the LC crates are further, or are touching. Then in the lower right expansion, there's hardly any resources. The middle right expansion, and same with middle left expansion here, they are still the largest expansions, but they're obviously out of the way. That's basically the idea. You can secure resources, but it's hard to defend from your main base. Not that it makes a huge difference in Akron, but it seemed like a good idea to put in. Uh, we'll see how it plays out ultimately, but for now it, it's it's there. Anyway, got my main base going. Oh shoot, now am I talking? I forgot that I have enough resources for more L RC, uh, more RPs on LC. Resources for more RCs. I can produce as many remote controlled cars as I wish. Unfortunately, I do not wish to produce remote controlled cars. I wish to produce Veer-controlled cars, since they're a lot more useful and tend to teleport more often. And see, my so my scouting forces have not reached Carnabrant yet, though... No, they, there's no time way propagating that. Let's get a depot up, though, fairly quickly. And... So you should just go over here. Actually, you should stay over here. Get more, get more RPs going while I build up a depot and get... Hopefully a Teth... or Zion Turcher. Generally, that's what I go for early on because they are great main battle tanks. And here's Cronaberry. Yes, like I said, he's going for Grecum. Double check what he actually has. He has a Sepi and a Faro for generating. So he's going to be building or going to be have building Octos right now. Actually, he's got them at the 140 mark, and he's sending them towards my base, which is a bad thing. That means we have to defend with my Zion Veer, and I was not expecting that. Let's okay. I'll probably have to build Zion, another Zion Veer to help defend because that Octo should be hitting about. I don't know, 10 seconds from now. Going for a bit of an Octo Rush. Not entirely surprising. Okay, there we go. Get you out there. Actually... Ah, there we go. That's what I wanted. You go closer. You don't want, I don't want you to go too far away. Build that foundation for the depot. So that... Zion Turcher will, sorry, that Zion Veer will become my Zion Turcher, this one right here, while yeah, my scouting forces get in because apparently Cronimer changed up his opening. Now I'm concerned. Or is that just, no, but it's not, must not have propagated yet. So the present does have a slightly different state that, no, he actually did move ahead. He's, okay, this is not good. He's moved straight for my force, for my RPs. He's not even trying to attack anything I have other than that. Not a bad idea, since RPs, of course, are pretty much the backbone of everything. But still annoying! But thankfully, he was not actually attacking the Zion Veer, so now I have full health Zion Veer. So we'll see what he does after this, because, frankly, I wouldn't be surprised if he starts to actually attack the Zion Veers. Honestly, I have no idea what he's planning on doing, though. I mean, he's keeping... He has an Octo at home, so he is defending. I honestly don't think he's actually keeping his attack up. Looks like he's abandoned the whole idea. So I get the depot up and I actually managed to get my Zion Turchers going so I can help defend. Like I said, Zion Turchers are great main battle tanks, and of course they're cloak and harassment units as well. So it's a wonderful mix because I can basically do anything with them. Except, of course, you know, hit a lot of units for a cheap cost. But that's fine. Something I can live without. And just double check what he had further in the future. Uh, nothing representative. Looks like he didn't actually build anything. He's built nothing he hasn't wanted me to scout at this point. Wait, was that an Octopod? I think that was an Octopod. I have, I have a good feeling that little thing there... No, that was a regular Octo. Alright, never mind. Thought it might have been an Octopod. That would have been very worrisome if it were. And, oh boy, I've got a lot of resources in the future. But no depot. Why don't I have a depot? Where is my depot? There is my depot. Okay. And you're building my RPs. Which is exactly what I want. Actually, at the same time, I'm going to build a Shinbeer, because a Shinbeer 
will be extremely useful for me. I realize I should probably post, post this link in the IRC gem. So yeah, Shinveer would be very useful for me because Shinveer let me build more foundations. Actually, wait, no, you are, you are becoming a Zion Tercher. Why are you becoming anything else? You go off and build foundation here because I don't want to... I don't want this area to be totally undefended. And you you upgrade while cloaked so that Karnamer doesn't know what's going on, assuming he's not actually watching the stream. And I'm assuming he's not watching the stream. Otherwise, I wouldn't have said that or pointed this out. Or been looking at my base at all this entire time, because, of course, if I were, that would be greatly to my disadvantage. But I don't have to, have to worry about that. Anyway, get auto defense. Get you into Karnamer's... Actually, get Karnamer's expansion. I'm not sure what he has built up, but I want to know. And at the same time, I want to get an aerial control center up, because... You are six, you are four. And... You become an aerial control center. I want more QPRPs. I want this foundation to become a bastion as soon as auto defense is ready, which will be soon, but not now. Let's put a little marker when it is. And now I'm really getting concerned, because I don't know what Crown Emerald's up to, and I haven't... Oh! Wow, I... I don't know what Crown Emerald's up to. He's got Octopod set up, but nothing else. I think he's probably get, taking a different expansion than the ones I'm looking at. Alright, get another... Get a Shin Pulsar and a Zion Tercher. Shin Pulsars, as I mentioned before, and many times, are great scouts. So get that up, do some scouting with it. Get you to further saturate what I already have, and these guys should teleport away. You guys teleport over here, because I need you... You're needed elsewhere. And, oops, you go here, here, here. Double check, because like I said, I'm very suspicious at this point. I'm pretty sure that Crown Emerald's got something up his sleeve. Ah, found it. Alright, let's go deal with that when we actually have a better time dealing with this sort of thing. Where is my design... For sure, I was upgrading skip teleport. And it is done here, so don't do anything except jump over here and take care of that Faro and Seppi. Because I don't like the look of that Faro and Seppi. I don't like them existing. Oh, and there's RPs existing here too. Well, that's just wonderful. So it looks like Crown Amber has decided to build an expansion off in the corner, thinking he could evade me, but no, he cannot. Actually, I should probably do the same thing. And think I can evade him. And you do that and undo anything else you would have done. So where was I in the future? Alright, 736 mark. We have Faro and Seppi fighting off Shin Pulsar and my Zion Torture inside the main base just tearing apart Octopods. So at this point, nothing really spectacular is going on and you're just hanging out there. I don't really care where you're going right now since I undid all what you're doing right now. Anyway, so double checking the blue time wave. Looks like... Where did that, Zion... where did that Seppi and Faro go? This is this no, this is a different RP. Where did that Sepin Faro go? That's bizarre. I mean they would have left the base. Unless they oh shoot, they must have gone over this way. Man, it's hard to check for. Where's my Shin Pulsar? Oh, my Shin Pulsar isn't alive yet. No, it's being built right now. Ah, here you are, I found it. Okay, Sepi and Faro, you die now. Both of you. Mostly the Sepi, but the Faro too. Alright, got rid of that expansion force, and you go back home and heal up, because I don't want you to die. And you go on your patrol... Actually, go on a different patrol route. You patrol that. And then you... You upgrade, skip, teleport. You teleport around a bit more. And you're building a foundation, or not, as the case may be, since I don't have enough... I don't have enough LC for that. Uh, of course. Okay, now you're building a foundation, because I really need you to. And you're taking care of... Just move on. I don't need you to worry about that right now. You build that up, and... Okay, that, I don't really need to turn that into another foundation quite yet. But I do need to worry about what, I'm, what resources I'm getting at this point. Probably should expand once again, and this guy's done, so grab an expansion here. Oh, and look at that! Crown Abrams decided to say hello! I've decided no! You will not say hello! Your RPs will die! Die for their sins! Whatever I decide they may be. I haven't decided yet. I'll, I'll figure that out eventually. Probably larceny. That seems like an appropriate sin for something that gathers lots of money. Alright, so... 
the same time, I need you to build RPs, because right now, Chronamera is going to be starting to attack this position. Not something I want to have happen, but it's something that will have will have happened, most likely. Actually, yeah, will have happened seems most likely. So the far one Sebi have already arrived here in the Sebi, but whoa, what the? Wait a sec, this, this isn't right, this isn't right. You go back here and help out. And no, no, ow, oh, shoot, no. You go back here and help out. Because you're Mr. Main Battle Tank, and you're the second main battle tank here. You don't have script. Oh, you do have script sc teleport. Okay, you help out then. And you hunt them. Of course, at this point, I don't need to cloak, because Sepipods are cloak detectors, and of course, because of that, there's no reason to cloak. That'd be a waste of time. What isn't a waste of time, however, is building Teth Pulsars once I actually get the money for it, or just converting a bunch of QP into. LC and getting Teth Pulsers, which I think might invalidate. No, it won't invalidate that. Awesome. Get me a Teth Pulser. And apparently a Shin Beer. That was actually a mistake. One is Zion Beer, not a Shin Beer. And I'll be building that eventually. But for now, Zion Pulser, go to the main base. And Zion Beer, you do your thing. And Shin. Wait, why is it Shin Beer? Okay. These guys are going over this way. Actually, wait. No, you you defend our base. We're not playing CISO. We can't afford to have bases undefended. Okay, you go over here, and you go over here to help just support in general. And you guys, I want you teleporting somewhere. Crap, I don't know where. Up there, that'll work. Really, I should probably get gate tech. And the Zion will just crawl the victory. Actually, the Zion Turtles will be the ones doing the victory crawl, or victory anything, really. You become... Go into the depot again, and you... Oh! That's handy. Okay. And I need you... Yeah, okay, I need you to be... Oops. No! Shoot. I need you to build... No. Oh, darn it. Darn you, muscle memory. Okay, there we go. That's what I want. Oh, what the... Oh, shoot. Is that seriously Octoligos? Is he, did he really build Octoligos? I think he did. It might have just been Octopods though, but I almost wouldn't be surprised if it were Octoligos. I've got, to, I've got to be honest, I would not be surprised if it were Octoligos. No, you guys get over here. You, over here. What the? Where's their attack? Oh, Faros, darn it. I forgot Faro's going to attack. Okay. Actually, I didn't forget Faro's going to attack, but I didn't know if you have one of them, some of them with him. And Seriously? What the hell's with this situation? This is... This is a hard-to-believe situation. I'm honestly surprised at Octopods being used. At Grekum not attacking mainly with air. What... What madness is this? I... I don't know. I... Might know later on, but right now I have absolutely no idea that... Kraken could actually, you know, not use air. I mean, be aggressive, sure, but generally with Faropods, this is... This is new. And not in a way that I'm able to deal with. Crap. I feel like I learned to pay more attention to the past. And it's really my weakest part of this game, is forgetting to pay attention to the past. That, that tends to bite me in the butt more often than not. Okay, well, Zion Turcher should be able to help out here. Cloaked or not, they're still, like I said, very powerful main battle tank units. And... What the? Ew. Okay, that's nothing too new. I'm gonna double check the flashing red that was over the negative five minute mark, because I think a six minute mark, I suppose. Oh, great! Chrono ports! You've gotta be kidding me! What's the deal with that? Also, why is this guy dying? This, that guy, sh this Zion, Zion Turcher should not die. Actually, you, you hang back a bit. I want you to wait until more comes in. I want you to wait until support comes in. And then when support comes in, which is pretty soon. Oh, hey, how about that? You guys kill the octopods. Something is away. What? Oh, finally. Alright. 
and you become another Zion Tercher. And now I'm not sure how to deal with this. I really, like I said, have got to get Gate Tech my own, but I do not have it, and I don't really have any resources to get it with. And fortunately, my main source of money has just been eliminated. So I should probably go and recapture that while attacking with Zion Tercher's and Zion Pulsers towards Crown main base. And it looks like this expansion... Actually, you know what? I have more sources of money than I thought I did. But Crimer's going to probably start to destroy them. And yes, yes he is. He is definitely starting to destroy them. Like this Chronoported Octopod here, which has just gone and died. But still, not pleasant. And this Zion Tercher... Which, why did that Zion Tercher die? That Zion Tercher was not dead last time. Oh great, this is not good. But then the Zion Pulsar is also dead. What the hell? <sighs> no, you... Uh, you're probably not good. We're probably actually in a really bad spot right now. Or, no, actually, we're in the exact same spot we were before. So it looks like the Chronoports didn't actually change too much. And, oh, never mind. <laughs> the Chronoports involved an Octopod, which I ended up killing. Well, that's wonderful. Okay, so we're in a slightly better position than I expected. So back to the 1344 mark, when I was mostly focused getting my resources, I have enough res or almost enough resources for Gate Tech. All right. I'm going to actually strike back to this. Grab some Gate Tech and... Get another Zion Pulsar. Get these guys into the base here, because... And the Pulsar's just getting rid of this... Actually, you guys... Nah, you guys keep attacking. I don't know what's going to happen. How Chronoport's going to change the pass. So, if Chronoport changes the pass in a way that's not favorable to me, I want you guys attacking. I do not want you guys doing anything silly, like, you know, moving. Moving is typically a bad thing to do. Actually, a bunch of Zion Pulsars may not be a bad idea right by now. Now, where is my QP? A bad feeling my QPRPs got hit without me noticing. Uh, no, I just don't have enough of them, that's all. Oh wait, this was... Okay, Chronoport Departure detected. Wait, Chronoport Departure detected. There's a Chronoport Departure around here somewhere, and I don't think I can actually see it. Oh, great. There's a Sebipod over here. Well, that's just wonderful. Okay, well, not much I can do about that. Let's stick this guy over here and hope for the best. Maybe that'll help, but I kind of doubt it. Oh, hey, look, more Seppi Pods. Actually, probably the same Seppi Pods, now that I think about it. And since you guys can just keep going forward, you guys just keep going forward. And Zion Pulsar attack. Like I said, I don't know how Crown Emerald was going to change the past, but I figured it'd be something that I would not enjoy and would involve my Zion Pulsars wanting to attack. But actually, I was wrong. It would involve my Zion Pulsars wanting to keep moving. You guys keep going. I'll let the Zion Tercers catch up to you later. And... Great. So this still isn't working out too well. I mean, the existence of a Bastion did help me out, but it did not completely solve my problem. However, it does look like I'm going to be able to... Well, still going to be tricky. I mean, there's still these heavy pods here, but no far... I'm actually kind of surprised. Now that I think about it, Cronaver has not built a far pod that I've seen yet. He may have built a far pod, but I haven't seen it. And that's almost a little bit worrisome. However... I do have a bunch of forces. I'm going to send them to here first and then pass them along because I don't know what he's going to attack with. I think I have enough forces to destroy the main base, but he might send a defense force here. And this is when the Sepipod departed, so I don't have to worry about that. Well, I do, but this Sepipod here, I think, so. Not the biggest deal. Annoying, but I can deal with I can manage. And, wait, what was that? That was... Something went away. I think it was a Sepipod. Ah, shoot, what was it? Okay. You go over here, figure out what's going on, and it looks like another... Was another reef being built? I think another reef is being built. Let's see. It was going to come up in... Yes, another reef looks like it is being built. Yeah, reef is coming up. So Crimer is trying to defend his base using reefs. I'm guessing he's out of Q-Plasma, actually. Gotta be honest, I'm, I'm wagering that he's out of Q-Plasma, and now I'm basically just setting myself up in a position where I... If I can get Chronoporting, I should be able to win from here, actually. But I don't know if I can. In fact, you don't build that foundation, because I need you to not build the foundation. And, oh, speaking of Q-Plasma, what you could do is kill this. Okay, so Chronomorph's main base is now gone, but I'm sure he has secondary bases around- Ah, like here! With an Arcticus, which he's gonna use to rebuild, since Arcticuses can build all base class units for Grecum. He's gonna use that to rebuild, but I have Gate Tech now. Or at least I may have Gate Tech, just note to himself when I have Gate Tech. So it's hitting back at the 1425 mark, this is about 5 minutes down from the present, and that has still been destroyed, so nothing much has changed here. And at this point we have 
This is the Kramer's base destruction, but he does have a Chronoport going on. Going on to about here, it looks like... I don't think it's a Sepipod. I can't notice any more damage yet. Let's see, this Sepipod is here before. He's retreating with the Sepipod, and I'm guessing he's Chronoported back Octopods to help defend his main base. So I don't anticipate I'm going to be able to keep his main base dead for long. But I'll figure that out soon enough, so let's see. Sepipod coming back. Sepipod is fully healed, but frankly isn't that much of a threat. I don't think that was the depart... That's a different departure. That was the Sepipod departure we just saw. Coming back to the 714 mark. 1714 mark, sorry. Jump, he's... So he's in a decent position, and this is past my Gate Tech research points. I do have Gate Tech being researched. Wonderful. So unless he tries to undermine that, I will have Gate Tech, and that will be... That will be just great. So let's get a Bastion going just for additional defense, because I'm sure if he had the chance, he'd want to take care of the Slipgate I'm about to build. So we get a couple Bastions going, and another Chronoport Departure following him up, and let's see here. Ah, Octopod, right where my defense forces were. How handy. But I think it will end up killing that. Yeah, it does kill that. Oh, come on, Zion Vera. Crawl the victory. Crawl the victory. No. Shoot. Slightly damaged, but not enough. Okay, that might be problematic. That might actually end up nullifying gate tech. I may need to engineer a paradox to keep my gate tech around. Slip gate. Build. And then uh, get more Zion Pulsers, because those will be fine in this case. Where is my army? Okay, so my main army is over here. I want you guys to go back to the slip gate. And then my secondary, or actually my real main army, but you guys go over here. Oh, Articus. Articus! Oh, well, actually, you guys take care of those RPs. That's fine. So you have the RPs taken care of, and now you must... Actually, I only need a couple of these guys. Come on. Chronopore back. And kill that octopod before he destroys my economy. Okay, good. We might have saved Gate Tech. I don't think I did, though. I think I may have lost it. I think I jumped back too late. However, I still have most of his base destroyed. Okay, and he surrendered. That's a good game. So, I hope you enjoyed watching that. That was, that was as fun for you guys to watch as it was for me to play. And have a good night, everybody. Oops.